We're now going back to the window menu and the actions panel and as I mentioned in our discussion about actions on the previous part, part 6 of our training, we'll be coming back to this to take a little closer look at the actions panel. Now this panel allows you to save a series of steps as an action and then play that action back. There are lots of default actions in here, as you can see here, and we can run these right on our image. I'm just going to pull this panel out and float this panel and get this out of the way. Let's make sure we're on the correct layer. I'm going to copy our layer here. There we go. Just make a copy of that. We'll work on this layer. And let's just run, take a look at a few of these, and then run one of these actions. The top one here is vignette, and it creates a vignette based on a selection, as you can see. And here's what happens. These are the steps it actually goes through. It takes a snapshot. This is a history snapshot. We'll be talking about history snapshots in just a couple, three videos. Here's a snapshot from the current history state. It feathers the selection. It makes a new layer via copy. Shows that current layer. It fills that layer, as you can see right down here. And then it moves that current layer to the previous layer. So it does all these steps in here. And these were all recorded individually when they made this particular action. And it can then be run back. Let's just take a look at that. I'll go over here, grab our marquee tool. Let's just do an elliptical marquee kind of in the middle, just like that, just making a selection. Because this one runs off of a selection. Click on the action and click the play button down here. And it's going to go through and run all those steps. And there we go. There, as you can see, it has gone through now and made a vignette based upon the settings we had inside of this particular action. And you can do this for any one of these. It's simply playing a series of steps. Here's a wooden frame right there, for instance. Go ahead, let's play the wooden frame action. Click on the play button. It's now going through and running a whole bunch of steps. And there we go. There is the finish. It has created a wooden frame effect in here for our picture. So it actually did actually increase the size of the image to make space for that wooden frame effect. Now it went through a whole bunch of steps when it did that. If we take a look at the action, or at the history panel rather, you can see here, here's all of these steps that it went through. It went through just a bunch of steps to do that particular section. It created a snapshot in there, fill layer, new layer, new fill, add noise, add motion, blur, did a bevel and a boss effect in there, loaded the selection, filled that, created an inner shadow, loaded the selection again, it cropped that out and deleted out channel and then finally deselected those channels. So as you can see it went through a whole series of steps in here all in one shot. So instead of having to go through here and do each one of these steps individually to create this effect, it does that for us by running that as an action. So that's what the action panel does. There are additional actions available over here, additional default actions. Let me just actually go over here. Let's go back to one of our standard layers. That's okay. Layer one's fine. And let's just collapse that. Oh, I'm on the wrong tool. There we go. Get on the right tool here. We can then collapse that. And let me get this pulled up as far as I can towards the top here. And there we go. There's a whole series of additional action sets. Commands, different frames that can be done, different image effects, different black and white techniques, things in use for production, star trails here, text effects, textures, and video actions. So lots of actions that you can run. Simply load these in just like we did loading in the new swatches. Click on one of these sets and then bring that in as an additional action or a series of actions. You can then run those actions. Okay, we're going to move on now to the next video and let's take a look at creating our own custom actions. Let me just pull this action panel over here someplace. There we go.